Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 27th. I believe it is the last Sunday before Halloween. And uh, we're certainly getting into the Halloween spirit here uh, and across the YTPC, of course. Uh, it's always been a big holiday for us and it's uh, exciting to, to see that happening again. So I had a lot of fun making a uh, Halloween video about Lon Chaney Jr. that I, I posted yesterday. I uh, got a lot of great comments on that. I'm really glad folks are enjoying it. I had a fantastic time making it. I really enjoy making those videos. So uh, now i got to think about what to do next year. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how this evolves. But I hope you're all uh, enjoying and, and uh, getting into the, the spirit of the holiday. It's, it's a great pipe-smoking holiday. And I've said this before. I don't know why, but I just really enjoy it. Um, uh, today I've got um, my Halloween pipe. This is a pipe by uh, a carver named Jesse Jones who actually does fantastic work and you can see the, the pipe itself is just beautiful. And I, I actually won this in a contest um, on the Brother, Brothers of Briars forum. And I decided right away that this was going to be a dedicated Halloween pipe. Um, so I only smoke it like the week before Halloween and maybe a few days after. I don't recommend doing that because the problem, of course, is every time I take this pipe out, it's like a new pipe. I never get a chance to really break it in, to really uh, get a good feel for it. But it's fun, and it makes a nice prop for the for the season. And, of course, Haunted Bookshop, because it is October. Speaking of Haunted Bookshop, I, I went to, uh, I saw Pipes and Cigars was having a sale, you know, Halloween special, and I thought, oh, stock up on some Haunted Bookshop, and it sold out. Um, that's happened quite a few times recently, so stop buying all the Haunted Bookshop, guys, or John. So, i got a couple things I want to talk about, but, but first off... Uh, I want to I want to talk a little bit about our friend uh, Eric the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker. So Eric's uh, been busy on Instagram again. He's made you know getting in the Halloween spirit. He's made some funny Halloween things, and uh, he he used my picture again. I thought the last time this happened, I I kind of made it clear, and and you know my initial reaction was bad. I thought you know this is an invasion of privacy. The man's taken my image and. My, but then I thought about it, I thought, you know, Eric, he enjoys doing this. I mean, you can almost see him sitting in his parents' basement, booting up the Atari 800 XL and listening to the modem screech as it's connecting up to CompuServe. He gets a kick out of it, and he's in the Halloween spirit, too, like we all are. So this was just his way of sort of exploring that and, and having fun with it. And you might not know this about Eric, but he actually is... Uh, quite an aficionado of Halloween costumes and, and really a bit of a master of disguise. Um, he's, he's, over the years, accumulated some very, very unique costumes. and He sent me some pictures. I don't think he'd mind too terribly if I, if I share these with you. He's a bit shy, but, uh, you know, the, the first one here, the, this is actually Eric's first uh, Halloween, and he's, he's scared. Isn't that cute? But before you laugh at him, you know, who who wasn't scared their first Halloween? You know, you, you all of a sudden, you got people wearing other people's faces. Uh, you got men dressing as women, people in clown costumes. Not, not that any of this was unusual in Eric's household, but to see it outside in public was must have been quite a shock for the little tyke. Anyway, he, he eventually got over his initial fear, and he began uh, really turning out some very nice, high-quality costumes. Granted, at first, they were a little bit pedestrian in terms of the subject matter, but, uh, you know, he, he, he had a flair for, for design, and uh, he enjoyed it. And he, he just continued to evolve over the years. Um, that Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure why that's in there. That's actually just a picture of Eric fishing. Uh, sorry about that. But he... He actually uh, let me know that just this week that there was the uh, county uh, Halloween party 
which always involves a costume party and a contest. And Eric actually won second place in the contest, and he's very proud of that. And, th and this is the creation that actually won him that that award. Uh, I asked him who won first place, and he refused to comment. So, ah, uh, Eric, I would like to say that uh, it's all in good fun, and you know, I, I love you, my friend, but but I can't. So just keep on with that hobby, boy. Just keep having fun. So, other things going on. Shop is really coming along great. Um, I put some pictures up on Instagram of the uh, the bench that's now complete. Problem I've got is I really want to paint the walls, and we've had a lot of rain lately, and the walls are not 100% waterproof. That's the reason I want to paint them with the dry lock paint, and they're. There, there's spots that are just a little damp, so I gotta wait for that to dry, so I'm gonna have to wait for it to not rain. Anyway, so I'm probably gonna move forward without painting the walls and just plan to paint them whenever they, they wind up being dry enough. Uh, so my plan, you can hold me to this, I hope, is that by this time next week, I will be saying next week the shop will be open. So we're, we're really moving very quickly now, and I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm really excited about getting getting back to work on pipes in the new space so that's a lot of a lot of fun for me uh, other things uh, I had a I had a real interesting weekend that uh, I mentioned to a few of you on emails and stuff so I should probably fill you in on that and it started off um, on Friday I was uh, in a meeting actually running a meeting at work on Friday afternoon um, and I just suddenly started to feel really bad. Uh, now I've been fighting something for a, a, it's an infection. It's not, you know, nothing terrible, uh, but it keeps recurring. And I've been on various antibiotics, and this is going back to, to like early summer now. Um, and you know, I, I've been having some pain associated with that. It was bothering me a bit that day, and then I just felt really lightheaded and. Um, uh, it just it felt like I was going to just fall over, and I thought, well, this isn't good. So I did the smart thing. I drove home. Uh, I actually tried to call my wife, but my phone wasn't working, and that's a long story as well. So I got home. I thought, you know, I just need to rest for a little bit. I'll be fine. But my wife insisted on taking me to the emergency room. Now, I hate doing this. I, I believe that an emergency room is for an emergency, but, of course, the problem is you never know if you're personally having an emergency, unless you've cut something off or, you know, broken something, you know, but if you're just not feeling well, how do you know that it's an emergency? So she did the right thing. She took me, um, they kept me there for a couple of hours, they gave me some IV fluids, they scanned me, they, you know, probed me and took blood and, and everything else, and, you know, at the end they said, you know, you, you were dehydrated and you're probably just, you know, still having some side effects, uh, not side effects, but effects of the uh, the problem you have, and, you know, just keep taking the medicine, and, and I felt a lot better after the IV fluids, but uh, it, it just kind of was a terrible way to start my weekend. I, I had plans, so like at 2 o'clock, I was thinking about, I'm going to go get a cigar, and I'm going to do my Friday drive video. Uh, but by three o'clock, I wasn't do I wasn't thinking that at all. And it is amazing, and maybe this is just as you get older, uh, you start to notice it more. But it is amazing how quickly your body can react to something like fluids. You know, you don't realize you're dehydrated. Uh, I didn't know I was dehydrated, and I drink a lot of water, so I don't know why I suddenly became dehydrated. But um, Man, it was almost instant that the the IV when, when the IV infusion started, that I started to feel better. So listen to your body; it's uh, it it knows what it wants, and uh, listen to your wife because they, if if you have one, because they uh, they know what's best for you, even even if you don't understand it at the time. So I'm very grateful that she takes such good care of me. Anyway, folks, I uh, don't have a lot more to talk about today. Uh, 
Oh, uh, just to update you, we did go to Pittsburgh last week. The 60th anniversary party was a success. Uh, none of the sisters had to had had to kill anyone. Uh, everyone everyone got out alive, so I was pretty pleased with that. And uh, yeah, it was a, it was a good time. But it's good to be home. It's good to be back in the shop. Uh, it's good to be having Halloween and all the all the spookiness that comes with that. And I just wish you all the best. I hope if you're, you know, into Halloween that you have a great one and that you, you enjoy uh, all, the, all the stuff that's associated with it, the trick-or-treating, the, uh, the decorating, all that stuff. If you're not into it, I, I, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Anyway, folks, um, I want you all to take care. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.